you can see these greens here um, we've cut a few harvested a few same with the greens that are out underneath the trees we've been harvesting those and eating those so I thought I'd show you guys what's going on with the containers I've harvested a bunch from these uh, containers especially the ones up front this right here is cauliflower and it's crawling with aphids and little white flies right now because this area has been kind of protected look at that but yeah I'm gonna take care of that you see all those little polka dots in there I don't know if you can see that without it getting blurry I can barely see because it's so bright out this Swiss chart is doing phenomenal though for whatever reason, the aphids are preferring to go over to the cauliflower and they're leaving that alone. This is thyme. And I've got some other really tough thyme over there. <laughs> tough thyme. <laughs> but yeah, this kale here is doing awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I've canned a bunch of it. Um, these mustard uh, spinach greens. I've actually had um, quite a bit of it dehydrated and canned and you name it. They've been out here in 27 degrees, I think, has been our lowest. This peppermint over there is doing really good. I don't remember. I think these are the 20 cent mustard greens that I got um, there's a snail in there I can see a big hole all right after about I don't know I think it hit a low of 27 three or four times it went that low and so this this pepper finally gave up that's the hamper pepper and yeah I decided to go ahead and leave it out and see what would happen and that's what happened <laughs> You can see all the aphids on these greens here but these greens got the aphids and the snails and the rest of my stuff that has been covered up has been doing great so i've got a lot of uh carrots and swiss chard and you know i've got a lot of cold tolerant stuff i cannot wait to see that purple purple sprouting uh broccoli yeah everything is uh doing really well out here and i'm very very impressed with how low the temperatures get and how well this stuff is doing you guys remember this lettuce in the bag just simple Put some seed in, in a bag and let it go yeah um it's actually formed a few heads it's very very tasty lettuce um there's a couple of um aphids in there a couple of wasps have crawled in there um we've had a few salads now since the last time and it just keeps growing and it doesn't get covered up it's very cold hardy this is just regular butter crunch lettuce and i think i got it for 50 cents a pack i want to say that's the, the 50 cent pack and i've got another butter crunch right there and that one I think is the Baker Creek, but I could have them backwards, so don't quote me on them. And then here, here are the carrots. These carrots I keep a lid on every night that it gets, you know, if it's going to get below a certain temperature. Hey, look at that. It's a future murderer. It's been another week of below uh, freezing, and these carrots are still growing in here. And I don't want to stick my hand in here either because there's also a few wasps and spiders that took refuge um, in here. So you'll see me harvest these in the next day or two. So that's what's growing out here still and the birds are very happy that I've uncovered this stuff so they can get in here and get some bugs. <laughs>